Hello and welcome to the SBR Stew YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to look at can you run with a Super Pubic catheter? Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I have one fitted uh, and doing a lot of research, I actually can't find much information regarding it. Doing what sort of doing Google searches, internet searches, I can't seem to find too much information about it. So I thought I'll come along, I'll get out. And I'll do a video about it. So yeah, let's uh, let's see how we get on. For those of you that have a super pubic catheter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, a uh, super pubic catheter is a catheter that comes out of your bladder and out through your abdomen. So basically, sort of two inches underneath my belly button, I've got a tube that comes out. It can either be attached to a bag, which I don't have, or it can be attached to a valve, which I do have. So the trouble with having a tube that sticks out your abdomen, pretty much exactly where the waistband of my shorts wants to sit, is what do you do with the tube? Uh, so yeah, I asked about on a few sort of forums uh, on Facebook, and I've managed to pick up a, a tubey clip from a company called uh, Sophistication Medical. Uh, I'll drop a link down below uh, for you to check it out to see where, what I'm talking about. Basically, I've got a clip that's going to hold the tube sort of steady, uh, stop it moving in my shorts. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've not done this, so let's give it a go. So that's enough ranting for me. I've not run since about sort of February. So yeah, the session today is going to be a 10 minute walk warm up. Then it's going to be five times one minute, one minute run, one minute walk, just to have a test, see how we cope, and then it's going to be five minute walk back to the house. So yeah, let's get into the session and see how we get on. You already train and run with a super pubic catheter, then uh, yeah, please drop in the comments down below uh, any tips, any advice for any of us new people that are trying to give this a go and learn as we go. It's, uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah, we've all got to adapt to something new when we've got a, a tube stick, a plastic tube sticking out of us. So any advice is very much welcome. Let's go. First rep done. Uh, yeah, 10 minute mile in for a minute. Nice and steady. Yeah, I can feel that I'm not running sort of five or six months, but we've all got to start somewhere. We've got to start the journey. So yeah, I'd sort of say this is my year. Uh, couch to 5k sort of back to fitness so yeah we'll keep going just on the water recovery rep number two done it is about sort of 29 30 degrees already so yeah it's quite a warm one to sort of start my my journey back into running but yeah I quite enjoy running in the heat just wish I was a little bit fitter and here we see Iron Man McCurvy Iron Man McCurvy <laughs> How are you, mate? How are you, man? So look what you bump into when you go for a run. Like super athlete over here, Lee. I don't know about that. Who's got uh, Copenhagen next week? So he's uh, yeah, he's downgraded his bike. He's sent his bike off. Uh, he's going to race on. Uh, but yeah, this this is the condition I want to get in, and this is the condition <laughs> that I currently am. So yeah, it's uh, you'll yeah. be there, mate. Don't you worry. <laughs> Your machine. And that's uh, what I love, sort of about this triathlon and fitness community especially in my area probably in your area where you are too but everyone willing to come and say hello lead like i say he's got copenhagen in a week uh, absolutely going to smash it top athlete great across all three disciplines but yeah takes the time out he's been messaging me while i've been ill ringing me while i've been ill and i've been out of action and yeah having the support of people like that uh, yeah really makes you you want to sort of get back to it and enjoy it again so that's rep number four done. I'm taking it nice and easy. Like I say, my five time one minute jog, one minute walk. It's not gonna break any records, not gonna win me any medals, but I've started. And from this point on, it only gets better. So yeah, if you're starting your couch 5K journey or you're looking to do a marathon or starting your first triathlon, yeah, get out and get started. Don't keep waiting, don't keep putting it off. Get started today. And we are done. Five time one minute jog, five time one minute walk, and now I've got a five minute recovery 
back to the house. So I'm going to title this video, Can You Run With A Subcubic Catheter? And the answer is, yes you can, yeah. It's, uh, I'm sort of seven weeks out from having it fitted uh, and it actually felt a lot easier than being on the bike. So, so yeah, you can run with it. The tubey clip from uh, Sophistication Medical was absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's even got little moons and rockets on it, which makes it even cooler for me. So yeah, so if you've got one and you're thinking about giving exercise a go, absolutely give it a go. It actually felt a lot better. I was a bit worried about coming out for this run and trying trying to run with it. It's, uh, but yeah, it went really well. The legs are feeling really good. It's, uh, I'm sure if I run a lot harder, a lot further, they'll be a lot worse, but because I was going nice and gentle, it was, it was quite pleasant to be out running, especially in this heat. And a nice little pep talk from Lee to give me a bit more encouragement. And one thing to note for all future videos is that this hill back up to my house is quite steep and I never actually run it. No matter how, how fit I am, no matter how strong I am, I never run this hill. I always walk this hill, so. So that is the session done. I'll pop the stats up on screen somewhere around here. You'll see that it was nice, slow, steady, controlled, nice and sensible. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest with all my data and all my stats so you can see and you can follow on the journey to Ironman next year to see that yeah, someone starting sort of at the very bottom of their fitness can uh, progress towards Ironman. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the journey. Thank you very much for watching. Please, yeah, it means the world if you do subscribe and you like a few videos. Uh, yeah, thank you very much.